Hey there, it's Azra. I just got out of a very long recording session and I was driving home and I was like, you know what? Why don't I just pull over and take some time to talk to you and talk to you about this exciting new single that I just released called I Wish You Would Cry. Um, so I Wish You Would Cry is a very melancholic, very nostalgic, very reflective single that I wrote, which is kind of different than my previous single, All Out, which I just released as well. Um, All Out is very energetic. It's about being reckless. It's about accepting all of who we are, you know, and just kind of coming out to uh, show who we are and just be unapologetic. Um, so I like to say it's like the sun energy, whereas like, I wish you would cry is more of the moon vibe. The meaning behind the song basically is what the title says. It's encouraging all of us to embrace our vulnerabilities and share our feelings and not hold on to any emotions inside. You know, for so many years, um, and it's gotten better over the last couple of years due to the world and the society just being more open about mental health and therapy and people just sharing their feelings. But I think that the majority of the society and just our lives we were always told to stay strong don't show your emotions um and that if you do show any vulnerability then you're kind of like not being a strong individual but i like to challenge that and through this song and say that vulnerability and sharing our emotions and letting ourselves cry letting our emotions flow that's actually vulnerability turns strength it is strength um you know, there has been many times in my life, especially during COVID, when I, because all of us had to kind of retrieve, right, and stay home and, and be alone, there were many times when I just got into this, like, melancholic, sad, emotional mood, especially in the middle of the night, and I couldn't sleep, and then I had all these, like, thoughts, memories, and feelings just rise, and I asked myself, I'm like, where is all this coming from, and I realized it's actually from all the emotions that I didn't even think I had pent up inside um, and I had all these voices in my head telling me to feel a certain way but maybe it's supposed to be this way and just feeling all this guilt um, and then eventually all those thoughts just getting really overwhelming and then eventually just crying and releasing and then realizing how refreshing and how empowered I felt once I accepted my emotions and kind of let things out and showing self-love in a way so that's what I Wish You Would Cry is all about. It's encouraging all of us to let our emotions out. You know, I wish you would cry. Don't hold anything in. If you have anything to say to yourself or others or just you want to attend to your emotions, putting it out there. Um, yeah, so the rest, I'll let you hear it and you tell me how you interpret it. <laughs> um, in terms of... The recording process and the writing process it was very 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 therapeutic and super organic so i went into a writing session um already had this idea about you know the the mood that i was in and like the type of vibe and the the feelings that i was kind of feeling during that time um and when i went into the studio i didn't have like specific lyrics or melodies written and i wanted to go in there and let everything be organic so my co-writers and the producer we kind of sat there, just started talking about life, and it ended up being kind of therapeutic, right? And then one of the writers was talking about how she's going through something um, difficult, and I was like, you know what? Like, I go through something difficult too, and the emotions are always up and down, um, but it's something that, like, that we should embrace and we should talk about. So I was just like, you know, I really, really wish that we could just all cry it out. Let's cry it out. And basically that conversation turned into i was like why don't we write a song about encouraging all of us to cry like a crying fest um <laughs> and then that's kind of how the writing session um, unfolded and it became a very fluid um you know moment to create in terms of recording vocals it was also very very just very straightforward this time around um it was just me and the producer just cutting vocals and I actually vocal produced myself um, with the help of the producer as well but it was just me kind of playing around with different sounds uh, feeling the vibe and then 
tweaking um, different parts of the production and the song as we went to make sure that everything kind of fit the, the entire feeling and the energy of the song. So I hope you enjoyed this little clip about I Wish You Would Cry. And most importantly, I really, really encourage every single one of you to be true to who you are. It's also important to be true to your feelings and your emotions and not be afraid to let it out. You know, if you're sad, say you're sad. If you're feeling stuck, like accept that and then figure out a way to come out of it. But don't force yourself. If you have tears flowing down your face in the middle of the night, let it flow. You know, let it all out. And then you will realize that the next day you'll feel better and that you'll be like, why didn't I do this more? So with this song, let's all take the time to, you know, release our emotions and release ourselves and not let anything stay inside because you are beautiful individuals, beautiful humans who were put here on earth for a reason. And it's not fair to you to hold on to all of your emotions and not let it out because once you let it out, you realize how inspiring you are and how much you will motivate other people and empower other people to release and share their emotions and their true selves. Please check out my music on Spotify, Apple Music, and everywhere. And join the Six Dimension Discord community, which is a very exclusive community I have with my fellow Azra Deities. And that's where we kind of dive deeper into the Six Dimension, which is a place where you can be yourself, you can let go of all your inhibitions, and we support each other to follow our dreams. So come through. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. And I hope you have a wonderful day.